Hi, and welcome to this short video overview of how to set up and use the budget feature in Money Brilliant. The budget feature is one of the most powerful features of Money Brilliant, and we think budgeting is a critical skill and something we all should be doing, which is why we've made it quick and easy to set up a budget in Money Brilliant. We're going to start this demonstration from the point of having just signed up for Money Brilliant, having connected our main financial accounts to Money Brilliant, and having set up our bills. It's important to connect your accounts and set up your bills before you set up a budget because it makes the process much, much easier. If you haven't completed these steps, you might want to have a look at the videos that cover these topics. We're also going to have a quick look at categorising transactions and checking our spending reports. You may have already seen this in some of our other videos, but in case you haven't, we've included it here as well. From the Overview Dashboard tab, you can see where my safe spending amount will be shown after I've set up my budget. You can also see my net worth, which has been automatically calculated based on the accounts that I've connected to my Money Brilliant account. Of course, I probably have other assets and liabilities like property and vehicles that I might also want to add to my net worth, all of which you can do. You can also see any uncategorized transactions from the accounts that we've connected. Before we set up a budget, it's important that we've categorized all of our transactions. Otherwise, our default budget won't be as accurate as it could be. So we're just going to quickly categorize this transaction. To do this, we just tap on the transaction to display all of its details. Here we can see the details of the transaction. We tap on the uncategorized label to see a list of all available transaction category groups. We want to categorize this as a bank fee. So find fees and charges, tap on it, and you can select service charges and fees. We've now categorized this transaction, so tap on the back label in the top left hand corner of the screen. Now we're back on the overview dashboard screen and we can see that we have no more uncategorized transactions. And we're ready to proceed to the manage my spending dashboard, which is where the budget lives. Before we create a budget, we're just going to have a quick look at our spending. It's useful to do this before we create a budget because the more accurate our spending categorization is, the more accurate our budget will be. So you can see your spending report here, by default showing you how much you've spent in the last 90 days and what you've spent it on. Remember that we've just set this Money Brilliant account up, so the categorization of our spending has all been done automatically, other than that one transaction that we categorized ourselves. This can be a really useful feature of Money Brilliant because within five to 10 minutes of setting up your Money Brilliant account and connecting your main financial accounts to Money Brilliant, you should be able to get a really thorough analysis of your spending. This can provide great insights for most people because in our experience, most people don't really have a good idea of how they've been spending their money. So we're just going to tap on the spending report to see some more detail about our spending. Looking at this, what stands out for me is the relatively high other and ATM category. Before I create my budget, I want to check what's in this category because I want to minimize what's being categorized as other. A budget that has a high other category probably isn't much use. So let's tap on other and ATM to see what's being categorized there. Okay, so this is interesting. I can see my car registration has been categorized here. We want to fix that up. So we tap on the transaction to open it up, then tap on the transaction category to change the category. We want to change this transaction to be categorized as car registration. Now there are a couple of ways we could do this. The fastest way would be to start typing car registration into the search bar and let Money Brilliant find the category for me. The other way would be to choose the category group that we want, in this case auto and transport, and when we do this we can see the categories under auto and transport, find car registration and tap on that to select it. Okay, so now if we tap the other and ATM option in the top left hand corner, we'll go back to our spending analysis and then go back to our spending by category. This looks a lot better now and we're happy to go ahead with the next step in setting up our budget. So let's tap the back option in the top left hand corner to go back to our manager by spending dashboard. And let's scroll back up to the top of the dashboard where we can see my bills and my budget. Now we always recommend that you set up bills before you set up your budget. Bills are really just recurring expenses that are certain. They're certain because you know how much they'll cost you and when you'll incur them. This is different to discretionary expenses where you don't really know how much you'll spend and you probably don't know how much 
Oh, sorry, you probably don't know when you'll spend it. Now, we'd always recommend that you set up bills before you set up your budget. Bills are really just recurring expenses that are certain. They're certain because you know how much they will be and you know when to expect them. This is different to discretionary expenses where you don't really know how much you'll spend or when you'll spend it. The beauty of setting up bills before you set up your budget is that the bills that you set up will flow automatically and directly into your budget. So all you have to do then is budget for your discretionary expenses. We've covered how to set up bills in another video, so if you haven't seen that one, it might be worth a quick look. Okay, so let's go and create a budget for ourselves. Start the budget by tapping on the budget feature on the dashboard. The first time that you go into the budget, we'll give you a quick tour of the budget feature. The key messages from the tour are, first, we'll do most of the hard work for you by creating a draft budget based on your previous three months of transactions. Second, you can and you should adjust the draft budget to reflect what you're trying to achieve with your spending in the future. Third, you can do this at whatever level of detail suits you. And finally, we'll make tracking your progress simple by doing it for you. Okay, so here's our draft budget, automatically created by the Money Brilliant system. Remember, it's going to be based on average expenditure for the last three months. So let's select the first month of my draft budget. In this case, it's September 2017, and have a look at the detail of the budget. I do this just by tapping on the September month. I can now see my income and my spending and my savings that have been automatically budgeted for the month. We can tap on the income line to drill down and have a look at the breakup of our income. We can now see our salary, which has been automatically identified by Money Brilliant, and then any other income such as interest, again, automatically identified by Money Brilliant. If we wanted to, we could drill all the way down to the individual transactions that have been used to create these budgets. But we'll assume for the time being that we're happy with the income side of our budget and move to the expenses. So we tap on the back label in the top left hand corner of the screen and then tap on essentials. Now we can see a breakdown by spending category of all of our essential spending. Remember that the draft budget is based on your average expenditure for the past three months. So there's a good chance that you're going to want to change some of the budgeted figures. Most likely to reduce our spending in some areas and perhaps redirect some spending to other more important areas. So let's go and reduce our budget for groceries. Tap on the groceries label. Now we can see that our grocery budget consists entirely of discretionary expenses. We don't have any bills in our grocery spend which makes sense. To change our budget for groceries, simply tap on the budget number and enter the number that we want to set as our new budget and tap OK. Now Money Brilliant will ask me if I want to set that budget amount just for this month, September 2017, for this month and any subsequent months in my budget or for all months in my budget. I'll select all months in my budget. So what I'm trying to do here is create a pretty robust average monthly budget for myself. And now we've changed our budget for groceries across all months in our budget. It's that easy. So let's go back to our essential spending by tapping essentials in the top left hand corner of the screen. Now that we've budgeted to save some money on groceries each month, let's go and increase our budget for the kids spending category and spend some of our savings on the kids. So again, simply tap on the spending category of kids. Now we can see the breakdown of our budget between bills and expenses. For kids, just like for groceries, it's all discretionary expenses. If we tap on the expenses label, we can drill down to see the transactions that we use to calculate our budgeted figure. In this case, we have a babysitting expense of $123 in June, which averaged out over the three months, gives us our $41 budgeted figure. Let's bump that up a little bit by tapping on the $41 and entering a new budget amount of $100 per month. Again, the system will ask us if we want to apply that new budgeted figure to just this month, to this month and any future months in our budget, or to all months in our budget. Again, I'm going to select all months. And it's done. Okay, so let's go back to our essential spending 
and have a look at our services and utilities budget. Tap on the services and utilities label. We can see here that for this budget category, the entire budgeted amount each month is actually made up of bills. This is where the bills that we previously set up have flowed directly into our budget. If we tap on the bills label, we can go and have a look at the bills that make up this amount. This is basically the same view that we would see if we went into the bills feature on the Manage My Spending dashboard. Okay, so let's come back to services and utilities and back to essentials. Now let's go and have a look at some of our lifestyle spending. Let's go and have a look at our dining, bars and cafe budget. Tap on the dining, bars and cafe label. We can see here that it's again all discretionary expenses. If we tap on the expenses label, we can drill down to the expenses that make up the budgeted amount again. We can see a couple of expenses here and how the average is being calculated. If we want to, we can tap on any of the transactions to see the complete details of the transaction itself. This is a really powerful capability to be able to drill all of that way down from a relatively high level spending category to the individual transactions that we use to draft the budgeted figure for that spending category. And of course, when we're tracking actuals against our budget, we can do much the same thing. To go back up, just tap the dining bars and cafes label in the top left hand corner of the screen and then the lifestyle label to go back up to see all of our lifestyle expenses again. Okay, so now we've set our September budget and we've applied the changes we made in September to all future months in our budget. So we have a really solid budget for all of our months. What we generally do now is go and change specific months where we know we have specific things that affect those particular months. The example I'm going to use is our grocery budget in December. We know that our grocery bill is going to be higher than average in December because of Christmas. So let's go in and change just December's grocery budget. Let's tap on the December month, tap on essentials, tap on groceries. We can see our budgeted expenses at $610. We'll tap on the $610 and change it to $910. But this time we'll change it for just this month, December 2017. Okay, and we're done. We've updated our December groceries budget to $910. Now the other thing we might do now is budget to set aside some extra cash in the lead up to Christmas, starting this month. So if we go back to our budget for September by tapping on the September month, this time, tap the goals and savings label. Then tap on the zero dollars that we currently budgeted to save, and let's change that to $250. Let's do that just for September, but let's quickly go and do the same thing for October and November. Okay, we're done. We've now added a savings goal of $250 for September, October and November 2017 to help us out with Christmas. From this screen I can see a really good summary of my overall budget. By the way, each month is colour coded, so the months will be green if I have a budgeted surplus and red if I have a budgeted shortfall, so I can get a really quick overall impression of each of my monthly budgets. Down the bottom of the screen I can also see that overall for the 12 months I have a pretty healthy surplus. I now have a budget that I'm happy with so let's lock that in by tapping the done button. Now whenever I come back into the Money Brilliant app it will give me a high level up to date view of how I'm tracking against my budget. This is really powerful because remember that each night Money Brilliant is collecting my transaction data from all of my connected accounts and updating this for me automatically. There's no data entry that I need to do to be able to track my actual spending against my budget. This is really powerful and really useful. And if I want more detail, I simply tap on the budget feature to drill down to as much detail as I want. And of course, if I ever want to change or update my budget, I can do that too. And that's it, a really quick overview of the Money Brilliant budget feature. Don't just be good with money, be money brilliant.